What did you say, Goldie? <laughs> what? You sound so vicious. Are you hungry? Yeah, you wanna go get food? Okay, come on. Why is she in my flower pot eating? Goldie, what are you doing? Hey! Oh my. A downside of it being, hey, don't bump me, mister. A downside of it being super cold is the water's frozen over. So I'm gonna have to break this. <sighs> Fun times. So I just found these huge bird tracks in the snow and I have no idea what type of bird that would be. Like, those are huge, that's crazy. You can always tell when the doggies are out of water because this one starts to like move it around. And almost the other time he brought it like all the way over here, like he brought it to us. So three dogs definitely go through a lot more water than just one dog. Yeah, it used to take Goldie about two weeks to go through this huge thing of water. And it takes Goldie, Apollo and King about three days to go through. So we're definitely filling it up a lot more. Granted, three big dogs versus one big dog is a big difference. But I am about to start a thousand piece puzzle. Um, the last time I started a thousand piece puzzle, it took me oh, six months plus to do. So we'll see how long this one takes me. I just got distracted and didn't really finish it. And then people from Bible study helped me finish it. And me and Will did the last little bit of it. But we'll see how long this one will take. Hopefully not too long, because Will might get upset and never let me do puzzles again. But we'll see. Ma'am, get off of my puzzle. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you have any pieces on your paws? No? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Go play with the doggies. <laughs> They're not attacking you as much as they were. All the pets from Dad. Nope. Oh, oh, there they go. He said, they said, you stopped. I don't want you to stop, so please continue to pet us. <laughs> we have two very needy puppies now, not just one. How do you feel about this, babe? Good thing you have two hands. We have three dogs. That's true, but only two of them are very needy. That's not really true. <laughs> so we had a chicken in here. Now she's somewhere in here. I think I hear her. Girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. You laid an egg! Baby girl, aww. So she got attacked by the other chickens. So... Um, yeah, we put her in here because, um, the reason we have 26 chickens is because an owl attack and a possum attack and the possum got her a little bit. And so, um, she had a little bit of a cut and when she had a cut, the other chickens attacked her. And so we had to move her out before the chickens killed her, which they didn't. And now obviously she's doing better if she laid an egg or that might be the egg. That was broken yesterday that Will told me to get. So we will see which one it is. Sad news, that was not an egg she laid. That was the egg that um, Will dropped yesterday. So we only got... Oh, I have a hair on my face. We only got four eggs today, which is kind of sad, but makes sense it's still pretty cold. We're hoping to get more once it warms up. It's supposed to be like 34 degrees tomorrow. And then next Wednesday, it's like in the 70s crazy here are all the eggs we've gotten since i believe sunday so we'll see how many of them are cracked a few of them we've already thrown out because they're like cracked beyond even us eating so we keep the cracked ones for ourselves and we save the rest so i'm gonna wash them and we'll see how many we actually have that aren't cracked definitely not as bad as i thought out of our 27 eggs only seven were cracked uh one's a potential like i don't know if it's cracked all the way, so I'm gonna ask Will when he comes back from feeding the cows. But hey, 20 out of 27 not cracked when it's freezing, and we're not going to collect them every hour. That's pretty good. That's all, folks.